All right, here's my take on the, the Unity interface. <laughs> um, so let me start out by saying that um, there's a lot of people who hate Unity and GNOME shells, but let uh, you know the GNOME 3 and GNOME shells thing. That is not a distribution; it is a desktop environment, and um, you know whether your distribution wants to use the shell interface or the GNOME 3 classic interface. It's up to them. So let me give you an example. I believe Fedora is going to use the GNOME Shells interface, and I believe uh, Linux Mint is going to use GNOME 3, but the classic interface. So you see, your distribution decides uh, what they want to use. Okay. So in that case, GNOME 3 is not a, a uh, distribution. In this case, Ubuntu is a distribution and they made unity by default uh, for users to use now unity um, let me explain here unity is basically you know this dock here on the side with the search feature and the, the, the global menu like the Mac style uh, and they use a little bit more of Compiz that's about it that's the Unity interface. So it's not really that impressive. They added a stupid dock, a search feature, and the menu crap. That is basically Unity. Uh, is it hard to get used to? It just depends on you know who's using it. Um, it's not that difficult to use. It's a little bit wonky doing like multitasking on it. And uh, I'm gonna go over some features. Okay. But is it for existing GNOME users? I don't really think so. You know, a lot of GNOME users don't like it already. <clears throat> and a lot of GNOME users don't even like GNOME 3 also. Um, <clears throat> so no, it's not really for uh, the loyal Ubuntu users. They're probably going to switch to the classic mode or they might try a different distribution or maybe a new desktop environment altogether. So you do have choices, but you know, if, if that's uh, what Ubuntu is doing to their fan base, it's just going to go downhill from here. Um, however, this Unity interface is um, their goal of attracting new users uh, and uh, maybe people that are using tablets or touchscreen. So I don't really fault them for trying to, you know, get more users. The, you know, the only thing I fault them for is that they're destroying their their own user base at the moment, and um, you know that's their own fault, I guess. Uh, but let's go to some of these things they have in here. So this dock here, uh, I thought it was a, a pretty much a waste of time. You know, you could have just used Docky, but it it is functional. Let me see here. If you hold uh, the super key, you have this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's kind of buggy too, because sometimes it doesn't even show up for you know on my computer. Uh, so it is buggy, but it does work. So if you want to do like one, if I press one here, it opens the first uh, launcher that I have. It's not that useful because it's kind of stupid trying to remember a stupid number. You know, you go like this. Oh, that was that number. What is that icon on that location? Instead of just using a search feature, you know, like this that they already had. If it works, oh no, they don't have the folders here. Let's do a terminal. Right, that makes more sense than remembering a stupid number. Um, so that I don't really think that's useful uh, to a lot of people. And you know you can do like the normal stuff with the dock, you know, pinning it, uh, moving it, and removing it if you wanted to. Okay. <clears throat> uh, of course, I, I mentioned Compiz, so they have the Expo that you can do with a click, and applications. This is how you would view it, kind of like, like I said, a tablet uh, interface. Um, so that's it for the dock. And then we just go to this thing. Uh, it's kind of stupid too. So they have the global menu, 
which is fine. I used some of it in the past. Okay, uh, it, it, t it probably takes uh, getting used to it if you never used it before. But when you maximize it, you see how you have your your buttons here. Now they just uh, fuse it with uh, the panel, and uh, you know you can still use your menus. Not a problem there. The problem lies is that you know it's not very consistent with all the other uh, applications they have. So this is the default they have here, the Libre Writer here. Now we did that before with Nautilus. See, it's up top here. You know, right? Uh, when you do this with this application, very inconsistent. There is no menus up top there, right? The menus are down here. What the fuck? I mean, this is like their default app. If it was like uh, you know a third-party app or something that you install, then I would I would like you know say uh, give them a pass on that. But this is actually their default, and it's inconsistent. Another thing is that they have this cool thing. Well, I think it's cool. Is they have a overlay. Uh, you know, scroll bar here, which is fine, but it's inconsistent again. So it doesn't even show up on here. And some people will say this is a uh, a Java app, so you can't say that. But let's open a freaking terminal, and it doesn't even show up on here either. So let me do. Let's give it some scroll space here. So if I do my scrolly on here, right? There is no none of that, you know, overlay thing. It only shows up on this one. And inconsistent, made by dummies, you know. That's another thing. Um, oh yeah, here's a, here's another uh, one that uh, annoys me. In the past this one works like, you know, like a champ. Now it's like it's all messed up and shit. Uh, so you, when you double click on this it maximize it when you double click it again it should unmaximize it and be at the same place that you had before but no when you do this it keeps going to the right side look at this you see what I'm saying now it's freaking gone what the fuck to the next page <coughs> so yeah very annoying um, and it wasn't there before Thanks Ubuntu, you fucking idiots. Uh, let's go on to the next thing. So, they actually try to copy uh, the arrow snap feature. Well, it's not really. It's like a modified it, um, compass grid feature. But now they they want to do like the arrow snap, uh, uh, you know, with the dragon and all that. So let me show you an example. You do this and it tiles. The problem is it does work because it's just a grid feature. Although they add this thing in here, this highlighting thing, right? But you see how this one touched the top and the bottom? If you do that over here in this side, it doesn't even hit the top one. And if you move it around or something, look at that shit. It looks like a piece of crap. Like I said, not polished at all. Uh, released by morons. Um, anyways, that's another one. Um, I think that's about it except for oh yeah I am excited for some of the compass features that they've added or they improved on but uh, they also I guess disable or, or it's not working um, let's see here if I go into my scale feature and I try to do the button binding it doesn't freaking work so let's say button binding all windows and let's say I, I'll choose all these three here right button one doesn't work at all nothing uh, I use this a lot to like multitask in the past and it works fine now on here uh, all of a sudden is is crap it doesn't work so let me disable that Um, <clears throat> so all in all, Unity is okay by design. The problem I have is that um, you know 
they it's still beta it's not actually complete and uh, these morons they just release it and I hope people won't notice or something <clears throat> keep in mind this is for new users you know uh, us people that uh, use you know Linux for a while probably can figure it out how to use this properly but uh, new users with bugs um, so there you go would I recommend you use it no uh, if you're gonna update to Ubuntu 11.04 you probably wanna use the classic one um, so unity is not really ready you might have to wait to unity 2.0 uh, so my final thoughts on this is that Ubuntu 11.04 with Unity is basically a cheap Mac wannabe that sucks ass uh, released by morons and idiots because you know like two weeks ago there was actually a guy that says we shouldn't release Unity by default because it ain't ready that guy was a genius but everyone else that agreed to release Unity it's a fucking idiot, okay. Anyways, that's it for this one. Unity is a disappointment. Um, that's it.